All right. Thank you. Um, good morning and welcome to the first annual Welding Education Skills and Certification Conference. I want to thank everyone in advance for their participation as we have a busy agenda planned for you. If we have not met, uh, my name is uh, Dennis Harwig. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at AWS. My role is to lead and develop our staff programs for standards, education development, education services, and business development. From a big picture, I spend much of my time evaluating the interrelationships of our lines of business and how to serve, better serve AWS members, committee volunteers, school programs, and community colleges that offer welding technology education. <clears throat> American Welding Society's strategic goals are to support industry and academia through a range of services, including membership. AWS has over 71,000 members that are divided into districts, sections, and student chapters. These members' forums provide great opportunities for industry networking and career enlightenment. AWS members get a range of additional benefits. Certification, AWS offers a range of personnel and facility qualifications. I'll get into this later. Education, AWS provides over 120 exam preparation seminars annually and develops and produces advanced media-rich e-courses for knowledge and growth. Conferences, AWS hosts a range of engineering and education conferences that serve the emerging needs of key industries on an annual basis. Expositions, AWS and its partners host the annual Fabtech show that has over 40,000 attendees. This year's show is in Atlanta in November. Hope to see you there. Foundation and scholarships, AWS issues almost 500,000 per year in scholarships and supports a number of initiatives to promote careers in welding and the image of welding. Publications, AWS publishes the Welding Journal and Inspection Trend magazines. More. Interactive website. AWS is modernizing its IT platform and web services. In the future, a key focus will be providing career management services to its members. And our last and most important service is codes and standards. AWS was founded in 1919 to create industry standards to assure quality in everything we build using welding and ally technology. Today, AWS operates 29 major volunteer committees and publishes approximately 230 industry standards. And AWS is world renowned for its structural welding codes, which are adopted by almost every state's building code. There are over 1,500 volunteer professionals currently serving on, on more than 200 technical committees, subcommittees, and task groups dedicated to development of these consensus standards for welding, cutting, and allied technologies. These volunteers work under the rules of ANSI, which is the American National Standards Institute to publish American National Standards on Welding. AWS also administers the U.S. Technical Advisory Group, which are known as TAGS, to ISO for ISO TC44, which is Welding and Allied Processes and its subcommittees, and also participates in ISO TC167, which is the structural activities for steel and aluminum, and holds secretariats of two of the ISO TC444 subcommittees and five working groups. AWS is also the authorized national body for company certification under the International Institute of Welding for ISO 3834. Through a range of strategic volunteers, AWS coordinates and works to harmonize standards with ASME, API, AISC, which is the American Institute of Steel Construction, American Society of Non-Destructive Testing, and other American standard bodies. Now I want to share why AWS created this conference. I am very passionate about education. I started my career at R.G. Drag Career Technical School in Masson, Ohio back in 1978. I myself received a 1,620-hour certificate in uh, vocational welding. And uh, I go back there often to speak with students and have relationships with their faculty. I use my welding skills to pay my way through college and become a welding engineer. So, there's a, so there are great pathway opportunities in welding, and I'm a perfect example. However, I've been with AWS for about a year and a half. After, after joining AWS in, in January of 2014, I, I learned there was this confusion within you know, industry and welding education on AWS education and credentialing standard, standards and services. Many schools really don't know that AWS SENT standards were principally designed to meet Department of Education Perkins funding requirements and establish minimum learning outcomes for registered welding programs. SENT is an acronym for Schools Excelling Through National Skills Standards Education. The AWS Education Committee created the SENT standard. The committee purposely designed the SENT standard to allow choice and selection of commercial and structural curriculum. Hence, AWS does not supply a welding curriculum. AWS sets the standards for minimum requirements. So this is kind of a confusion point number one. Plus, SENT registration has a self-audit process for conformance to requirements. 
I've had several discussions with State Department of Education stakeholders who do not like the self-audit process. Some states see very learning outcomes between SENSE programs due to instructor competencies and curriculum design. And as a result, AWS will be launching a SENSE accredited training program in 2015. The AWS Education Committee has completed the requirements for this program. And AWS expects the results will be better and more consistent learning outcomes with schools who seek to achieve this facility certification. So then confusion point number two, what is the difference between welding personnel qualifications and certifications? Standard bodies like AWS set the minimum requirements for performance qualifications. AWS standards are written open, meaning that we allow industry the choice to self-qualify or use certified qualifications. For self-qualify, the company has its own quality system for training and qualification to the standards, which may be audited depending on the fabrication industry. Companies also have the choice to use certified qualifications. To certify, the qualification test must be performed and validated by an accredited test facility or an accredited national body. When a validated qualification is nationally registered by an accredited test facility, the qualification is deemed certified, and that makes it transferable and potentially stackable. So this is the heart of the conference, is to inform schools and colleges on the programs and best practices to maximize the use of the AWS credentialing framework. AWS was a founding partner in the Manufacturing Institute Skills Certification System and has been providing certification services to industry for many years. AWS provides certification for welders, inspectors, technicians, supervisors, educators, sales reps, and engineers. Based on labor reports, America has over 500,000 welders and over a million jobs in welding when including iron workers, sheet metal workers, and boiler makers, to name a few, who require welding certifications. At the same time, labor studies predict a massive shortage of welders, over 400,000 by 2024, due to retirements and ability to recruit future generations into skilled crafts. AWS is vested in promoting the image of welding. Most people don't know all the high paying career pathways that begin with education and training in welding. For example, many welders become inspectors where there are over 41,000 AWS certified welding inspectors. CWIs provide a range of quality assurance functions in a range of industries and many other welders become supervisors or technicians, for example. So MI's skill certification system endorses the use of stackable and transferable industry recognized credentials to drive American competitiveness. Studies have shown that a well-trained credential workforce reduces risk and improves productivity. The benefits of the skill certification system have been recognized by the Department of Labor, where community colleges are encouraged to implement industry-recognized credential programs to improve, to develop a, a skilled workforce for local industry clusters. And as a result, there's been a growing trend in community colleges that provide welding or metal fabrication programs to offer AWS credentials. So AWS has been very active in supporting consortiums who are pursuing Department of Labor trade adjustment and assistance community college career training grants, TAC grants. That's a, that's a big one for an acronym. Um, welding career pathways require a sound foundation of technology. So this includes strong competencies in drafting and design, fabrication math, process technologies, metallurgy and inspection technology. AWS personnel qualifications, qualification standards define the body of knowledge and job competencies where colleges can align courses to support these professional pathways. Community colleges are well placed to build relationships with the industry and tailor welding career programs to meet these needs. Hence the conference agenda was to inform training organizations and their industry partners about the integrated AWS framework for welding education, skill training, and personnel facility certifications. And for the latter, the emphasis is how to become and thrive as an AWS accredited test facility. This has been another point of confusion as schools may or may not have experience in providing industrial services operating a quality management system for testing and getting accredited by a national body. So now I want to say a few words about Ivy Tech and why they were selected to be our host. Ivy Tech Community College is the state's largest public post-secondary institution and the nation's largest singly accredited statewide community college system serving nearly 200,000 students annually. Ivy Tech has campuses throughout Indiana. It serves as the state's engine of workforce development. Ivy Tech has 31 campuses and offers welding technology programs at 14 of these campuses. Ivy Tech's welding programs are a model how to use the AWS integrated credentialing system and hence was a perfect choice to help host this conference. Ivy Tech has established AWS accredited test facilities at seven of the 14 welding programs locations where students are qualified, certified, and inserted directly into industry. The SENSE standard includes welding qualification tests and supports substitution of ATF certified welder certifications if the facility has an integrated program. 
And in fact, Ivy Tech's ATFs or tops in the ATF enterprise with respect to schools at issuing the number of welding certifications granted. And Ivy Tech has plans to create a statewide ATF network so all welding students can maximize their credential achievements. So over the next three days, you'll learn about the state of the art in welding education, skill training and certification. You'll learn about efforts to create a national framework for technician education from WeldEd and how the standards being created can create seamless pathways between sec secondary and post-secondary welding education. You hear about clusters being developed in the U.S. that provide seamless dual enrollment from SENSE career technology programs in the regional community colleges. Many states are developing a 2 plus 2 plus 2 pathway framework where students can start in career tech in high school and then fast track into their associate's degree and then throw on to their bachelor's degree. You will hear about programs like World Skills, where U.S. skills programs are making a difference in winning medals and improving the image of welding. You will learn about new online multimedia learning courses being developed by AWS to provide the body of knowledge growth and pathways for, for professional certifications, like the Certified Welding Inspector and Supervisor. You will also learn about a range of intelligent welding systems being used to accelerate the learning of complex ergonomic welding techniques required for precision, welding weld, pre precision manual welding. This includes virtual simulators, augmented reality, and ergonomic motion analyzers used while student welds. These new technologies have the potential to save significant time and material cost. Finally, you will learn about the best practices on how to manage welding training and qualification facilities from the top organizations in the country. I hope you enjoy the conference, the beautiful weather of Indiana, even though it's raining, <laughs> and the opportunity to network with the top experts in the welding education, skill, and training certification you know, arena. Welcome to the American Welding Society. Our mission is to advance the science, technology, and application of welding worldwide, and we work passionately with all those who share this goal. Thank you. Probably read too fast.